welcome back to my channel. As always, I am very excited for today's video and this one, as you can tell from the title, is going to be a five minute yoga sequence. You can do this in the morning, at night, you need some time in between. Anytime that you just feel like you need a little stretch, whether it's because your body's super stiff or you need to relax your mind or anything like that. So this is going to be a very quick and relaxing video and we are just going to hop on into it but before we begin if this is your first time seeing my face hi my name is samantha or Sammy for short and i'm a certified personal trainer as well as a young mom if either or both of those things are of any interest to you then please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be informed when i upload all of my future content and while you're at it you can go ahead and follow me on instagram at samantha five underscores and yes it is five underscores because my name is pretty popular you can also go ahead and follow me on tiktok at Sammy for short now with all that being said and out of the way, let's jump in to the yoga practice. So we're going to begin by being in a tabletop position with your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees directly underneath your hip points. You want to try and have as flat of a back as possible while doing this. So keeping a straight line from your head to your tailbone so we're not dipping down and we're not curving back just keeping it nice and solid. We're gonna take a couple of deep breaths in. So in through the nose and out through the mouth. A couple more just like that. Make sure you're clawing through your fingertips so that you're not putting as much pressure into your wrists and distributing weight evenly throughout your body. Okay, great, so now on your next inhale, you're going to look up and lift your tailbone up, creating a little arch in your back. And then you're gonna exhale and reverse. Taking it nice and slow. And then you're going to continue with this motion at your own speed until you feel satisfied. Your work one more time. Inhale. And exhale down. Great, now drop your elbows right where your palms were. And then you are going to bring those knees back slightly for heart to earth pose. So if you can bring your chest towards the ground or your head towards the ground, if not, then you just get as close as you can and you're going to keep your hips up in the air. Try to have your hands in line with those elbows. So we don't want to bring them in. We don't want them swelling out. We want them in a straight line. And just focus on that breathing. Great work. Now we're going to come on through onto your belly. And now you're going to bring your elbows right underneath of the shoulders again and lift your chest for a nice little sphinx pose. And feel free to move your head side to side if that feels good. So just look at one direction and then the other. And then look straight forward if you'd like. Just remember to keep that controlled breath, controlled rhythm in your movements. This should feel really good, especially if your muscles are tense and tight. And now what you're going to do is you're going to bring your hands right where your elbows are. So they should be underneath your shoulders. Curl your toes under and then press up into a plank. And we're just holding this for a couple breaths. Make sure you are having that straight line from your head to your tailbone, so don't lift your hips up. Don't drop your hips low. Keep it in a straight line, nice and solid. And now you're going to lift your hips high up towards the sky. Adjust your stance if you need to. 
coming into your downward dog. If your heels can't touch the ground, that's okay. Eventually over time we'll work to get there. You can start pedaling out through your feet if that feels good. And try to have your point your fingers facing towards the top of your mat and your pinky fingers might actually fall off to the sides of your mat. Having that nice grip through your fingertips so that again you're not putting any pressure on the wrist and try to bring your chest as close to your legs as possible so you don't want to be all the way here you don't want your head in front of your arms you want your head to come through those arms holding this a little bit longer and dropping on down to your knees we're bringing the big toes together bring your knees as wide as your mat or as far out as you can go and then drop the hips back reaching the hands forward if you would like to you can lift your palms up off the ground and just balance on those fingertips or you can relax your hands completely into the earth three deep breaths Now coming up onto your knees, bring those knees together, bring your hands up, and I'm going to face you for this part. So you're sitting nice and tall, try to keep everything stacked so your head is stacked over your heart, your heart is stacked over the pelvis. Keep your shoulders wide, chest high, you're going to drop your right hand down and exhale reach your left arm up and over feel free to find a little bit of movement here if you'd like that and switch on over to the other side Great work, we're almost done. So now what I would like you to do is to sit tall again and you're going to bring your right hand over towards your left ear. Then gently guide your right ear down towards your right shoulder. It's not a crunch, we don't want to be crunching in your neck. We don't want to be pulling, we just want to relax into it. I think our hips and our neck are the two points that get the most built up tension and are two of the things that we neglect to focus on and heal through stretching. And now we'll reverse it, do the other side. So bring your left hand over towards your right ear then slowly guide your left ear towards your left shoulder. Perfect, we're almost done. So for our last move, we're simply just going to sit here and come back to that breath that I've been talking about this entire time for a little bit of meditation. This can sometimes be the most challenging part for people as we're sitting still, not moving, trying not to have our brains wander, our minds wander, but I think people get meditation wrong a lot of the times. It's not about not thinking. It's just about finding peace and calming the mind, being present. You can choose to stay in this pose or this meditation as long as you'd like, but if you guys are ready to go, then all together we will reach our hands out and up towards the sky, draw the palms together, bring it down towards your heart, and we'll end this practice with Namaste.